Welcome to Segovia and we are standing right outside the most impressive part of the city but before we get started on that let's go get something to eat. Kia ora, hello. If you are new around here we are Matt and Ash, a couple of Kiwis from New Zealand currently living and working in Singapore. Welcome to our new series where we touch down in the beautiful country of Spain. Here we will dive into the history, culture and of course some delicious food as we travel to the country's most incredible places. In this episode we jump on the train from Madrid to the historical city of Segovia. Here we visit the huge Roman aqueduct. Touching 2000 year old history right now. Taste test the famous suckling pig. Yum. And unfortunately, I step in dog poop. Who just lets their dog crap in the middle of the square? <laughs> Join us as we show you the best things to do and see in this beautiful Spanish city. Touching 2,000 year old history right now. They're big. Humans, be heavy. humans laid these. They built this. Look at the size of these. These rocks, they're just enormous. And they did this back in the era of no cranes, no machines to help you. This is all manpower. The highlight of Segovia is the incredible Roman aqueduct. While an exact date of construction remains unknown, the general consensus is that it would have been built around the first century AD. It was built using 24,000 stones to transport water to the city from the mountains over 15 kilometres away. The above ground portion of the aqueduct is over 800 metres long with 165 arches. It is no surprise the aqueduct and Segovia's Old Town are UNESCO World Heritage Sites. So we're just walking down, I believe it's the main street, and it's gorgeous. It's lined with restaurants, the Christmas lights are up, you can imagine this place would look absolutely stunning at night. Yeah. We're only here during the day though, but nonetheless it's still beautiful. So we're being real tourists today, just wandering through the city and we stumbled across this little plaza and we thought oh let's go have a look and we walked into this cool little courtyard and then some guy spoke a little bit of English to us and said it's free it's free so we walked into the room and it was all model sort of dioramas of buildings and towns and things and I nerd out on that sort of stuff so cool it's, um, that's what happens when you just sort of wander and explore you stumble across some real gems so we've just arrived at a little market just at the backdrop of the cathedral there. It's Christmas time, so everyone's out and about. I bought you something. What did you buy me? A chocolate heart. Is that because you love me? Yeah. Well, oh, that's so sweet. I know. Danger, danger, danger. What just happened? Just as well, I've got a love heart because I just stepped in shit. <laughs> I need to find some grass. Who just lets their dog crap in the middle of the square? <laughs> So I've lost Matt. I've just bought myself some olives as a snack. And I can't find them. <laughs> this should be fun. A few moments later. Oh, I can see him. Clean as a whistle, mate. Just went to the bathroom. Give it a little wash under the tap. I bought some olives. Oh, yuck. Spanish olives. Good. Anyone else olive fans? Now, I missed out on the cathedral in Toledo, but I'm going to give this one a go. It's called the Cathedral de Segovia. How about this for a playground backdrop? Can't be too many playgrounds in the world with a cathedral next to them. This uh, area here, this little park here, is called the Cannon District. Luckily for Ash, she's always got two big cannons hanging around her. <laughs> Maybe. 
What time is it? Sangria time. So we've just stopped off for a sangria. We've actually already got lunch booked later on today, but we just thought we'd have a drink in the nice plaza. Have a, have a gaze at this menu. Marinated pork loin, mar marinated chorizo, marinated pork sausage, marinated pork bruschetta, sereno ham. They're very much a pork town here, and this region is all about pork, and the menus reflect that. I'm not complaining. Oh, sangria. Gracias. Aye. Not for me. So, I've hated olives my entire life, but today's the day. You're in a you're in the beautiful part of Spain, Segovia. They've got a delicious bowl of olives. durian last year in Singapore. For context it's the world's smelliest fruit. Tastes like it smells. I think I'd rather eat durian. So here we are for lunch. We have to stop at Segovia's Jose Maria where we're going to try their suckling pig. Probably if you're a vegan it's time to look away. Suckling pig, also known as cochinillo, is a must-try dish while you're in Segovia with meat so tender it is often cut with a plate. It's crispy on the outside, deliciously tender and juicy on the inside, and it satisfies all the taste buds. So here we are to try the famous suckling pig. Listen to this. But apparently it's so tender it just falls apart. Oh, give it a go. Yum. Juicy, tender, crispy. Yum. I've heard a lot about this. Delicious. Alright, we've just finished up in lunch, which was delicious. We're on our way now to probably Alcazar. The second most popular thing to do here in Segovia I'd after probably, the aqueduct. I'd, oh yeah, maybe yeah. after the aqueduct. Is the um, Alcazar Castle. All right, on the far end of town, the old town. As always, stunning views all around. What's it called? The Alcazar Castle. Alcazar. I keep calling it Azkaban. Ash is in Harry Potter mode. It's not Azkaban. <laughs> Now we're talking, out onto the walls. This is where the action takes place. Just spectacular guys, absolutely stunning. All around Spanish countryside, you can imagine the battles that took place here, 152 steps. Exactly like this. Castles were definitely not built for six foot four Kiwis, were they? We made it. We're at the top. Rain has subsided a teeny bit, enough that we can enjoy the views from up here. Okay guys, we've come back to where it all started today outside the aqueduct, although we're a little bit wetter than when we started. Yeah. Uh, but it is a fantastic day trip from Madrid. Um, highly recommend it, but you probably don't need a full day like we've spent. You could come out here and perhaps do a half a day, um, see the aqueduct, see the castle and the cathedral, and then you're pretty much done. They're the main highlights. Yeah. I think for us, we probably should have gone up, up the cathedral lookout, because yep. that would have given a really good view back at the castle. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, but, you know, we still had a good day. We had a fantastic day and it's time to um, get nice and warm and uh, get a nice hot meal into us. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time on A, a Couple, couple of, of Kiwis. Kiwis. Yeah, no, definitely. Thanks for watching.